Hey everyone, it's Will with Crooked Chicken coming back at you with some new footage that we got from this last weekend at the New York Comic Con. This is going to be a twofer. It's got a couple different things that I wanted to go over. First off, we got the first ever little bit of footage from the new Teen Wolf movie that's going to be premiering on Paramount+. Plus, and we got a release date of January 26th. And this date also is going to be the release date for the new having nothing to do with the Teen Wolf movie or Teen Wolf series universe, is the new Wolfpack TV series starring Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, so let's get into this uh, next little bit of footage, and we'll talk about it after. Dad, pull me down. Jeez. Put, please you, pull me down. You said you couldn't walk. I can hop. Fine, thanks. You almost had that shot. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw it. You were right at the goal. You're better than you think you are. I was in for less than a minute. I got the ball for a second, and I got knocked on my ass, and I twisted my ankle. It wasn't anything. You lie. It was nothing. It was something. I was watching Coach, and he saw it too. You're good. You're really good. And... If you can heal, you could play tomorrow night. You can help them win. The first step to transforming is healing. But you've got to be willing to learn. Ah. Get out! Run! Run! So there you go. There is that first little bit of footage that we got from the new Teen Wolf movie coming out at the first of the year. Now, there were a lot of complaints from my understanding. A lot of people bitching about the CGI moment where the arrow grazes Derek's neck. They just... People that look for something to bitch about, in my opinion, just complaining that it looks too CGI. Well, this could very well be a first cut or, you know, maybe it's a 10th cut or whatever it is, you know, they're always going to probably try to improve for the very final cut that they release and everything. So I don't understand why people are just looking for things to complain about. But, you know, it is what it is. You're going to have those type of people no matter what the project is or anything. So that was just my, you know, my initial complaint. It's not even about the footage. It's, pep it's about the fact that people are looking for a looking for something to bitch about. It was great to see Tyler Hecklin back in the role of Derek, and now we get to meet his son, you know, because there's, from what I watched in the New York Comic Con, there is a significant time jump between the end of the series and where it is now. You know, Scott is in his 30s, from my understanding, from everything that Tyler Posey said. <clears throat> so there's been about a 15-year time jump, basically, and so we get to see where these people are at in their lives, at that point in their lives. All the different things they're going through, they're all separated. Scott's out of that hero role, and he's experiencing life as a human for the most part, and just trying to find his place in the world without the hero role that he had, or you know, being, being a wolf and just trying to learn to be human at the same time. So I'm looking forward to it. I know people are going to bitch about it no matter what. 
But, you know, it is what it is. The next thing that I wanted to go over was the teaser trailer that we got for the Wolf Pack. Now, this is supposed to be a completely separated from the Teen Wolf universe, you know, completely. This is supposed to be its own this is supposed to be its own universe, its own little world and everything, not having anything to do with Scott McCall and his pack or any of that. But it is by Jeff Davis, the same guy that did Teen Wolf and it stars the amazing, in my opinion, Sarah Michelle Gellar. You know, I grew up in the Buffy period, the Buffy era, if you will. So, you know, it's great to see her back on screen because she's kind of been absent from the screen for a while. She took time off to raise her family and everything. So it is great to see her back in that supernatural genre that she became famous for. You know, it may not be vampires this time. We got werewolves. And from the teaser that we're about to watch, uh, it looks like she's packing heat. So is she a hunter or she has some other role in all of this? So, uh... Without really further ado, let's jump into this teaser, and afterwards, after we talk about it and everything, I hope you guys leave comments, and you know we can continue the discussion in the comment section about what's going on, what can we expect from this new series, is it going to live up to Teen Wolf? Hopefully, since it's by Jeff Davis, and he is the creative mind behind Teen Wolf, so we'll see. Let's jump into this teaser and see what we're in for. What did you see? Something bit you. You're like us now. Just like us. My favorite's the one with two heads. So as you see, uh, it looks pretty familiar with the uh, types of wolves and everything. We get, didn't get any face shots other than the fangs and everything and that set of claws. But it looks like it might fall in the same realm of those, of the werewolves that we're used to from the Teen Wolf world. But, uh... You know, like I said, we got Sarah Michelle Geller, and you have that one little snip where you can see her. She's packing heat. So, is she a hunter, or is she have some kind of history with it all? We don't know. And you know, me being the big Buffy fan that I am, kind of hoping maybe just for fun, maybe they'll drop some Buffy references in there. You never know; they might do it to just kind of, you know. Uh, Leave them for little surprises for the fans and everything, but they could just... I mean, she did it for so many years, and she's and, and she's been asked for so many years if she's ever going to play Buffy again, but she's kind of given that definitive answer that she's done with that character. And Plus, with all the drama uh, with Joss Whedon and all the bullshit that he's pulled over the years, it's very unlikely we'll ever get her version of Buffy or any of the supporting characters from that universe you know, there was talk there for a while that they were going to reboot the Buffy movie, but then all that shit happened with Joss, and just, I don't think there's a big um, fan desire for it. You know, it's been so long since the show ended, and, you know, they're wanting to introduce a whole new Slayer, and just, I don't know if they're going to have it be connected to that universe. Anyways, I digress. Uh, with this new series, um, we'll see. I am hoping that it is similar to Teen Wolf. It, I mean, it kind of looks like a whole nother, just basically a reboot of Teen Wolf. You know, you got Wolf Pack. Is it going to be the same kind of basic storyline? It's hard to tell at this point, just judging from this little teaser that we got. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Please leave comments. Please leave thumbs up. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate the hell out of all of it. And... Hopefully that uh, the Team Wolf movie is going to be good. Hopefully this series is going to be good. You know, I have high hopes for both just because the main executive producer Jeff Davis is responsible for all of it. So I guess that'll do it. Until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.